Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide, where in this video I'm going to be showing you a new method of abusing your beloved revolver into a laser death beam. So if you were to ask me what my favourite weapon in the entire game was, then a Revolver Mark II is definitely up there. I just like how you can customise a thing in a whole bunch of ways, all the different ammo types you can use, and the risk to reward factor making the gun very fun to use when doing drive-bys. I've shown a video in the past which shows this exact same thing, but that's since become obsolete and now patched. But thanks to a Twitter user by the name of King Heights 3 link in the description to his video on it, there is now a new way to put your revolver in a glitch state and fire off like 100 shots a second. Now you may be saying, hey, this is overpowered, you're going to unleash an overpowered trick into the game which will be abused by everyone and everyone's going to hate you for showing it on a video. Well hold your horses right there, Sonny Jim, because for a few reasons which I will show off soon, this will not be the case. In fact, the reason I'm showing this off is because of a use case scenario that I thought of that will make a certain flying bike a little less menacing, so to say. So let's begin. Okay, so while I'm going to show you the glitch using the Revolver Mark II, this will actually work with pretty much all the revolvers in the game. What you gotta do is firstly make sure you're in first person view and have your weapon in a rest pose. It won't work if your character is holding the gun in a hip fire or aiming stance. To force it into a rest position, you can just kind of sprint a tiny little bit and it'll bring the gun towards the sky. Next, press and hold the weapon select wheel button and then just after pressing that, press and hold the fire button. Keep the weapon wheel open while doing this. What should happen is your character goes to fire the gun but cancels actually firing it and resetting the gun back to the rest position. If this happens, let go of the weapon wheel and you should fire off one shot while still in the weapon rest pose. If this happens, then great. But if your character doesn't return to rest pose like seen here, it won't work. So in this case, you have to switch to another weapon then switch back and try again. Or if you accidentally fire off a shot while not glitched, then you can just reload the gun and try again. Upon successful frame-perfect inputs and you fire off your first shot while in rest pose, proceed to waste another four shells by firing in any direction, or at people. You want to waste your current clip until you got just one shot left. Once you're on your last shot, the next time you fire off your gun, your guns are blazing. This is fantastic for decimating any human or animal that you happen to be aiming at. There's no surviving this death beam, and yeah, I guess you could say the minigun does the exact same thing, but these are heavy revolver rounds which are coming out of the barrel, which makes just one hit from this ensemble of bullets to kill, so it's definitely more effective 1v1 against a minigun. I can see this being a pretty effective solution against any Oppressor Mark II user who gets close enough to you so that the effective range can reach them. Just prepare the glitch revolver upon noticing that an Oppressor Mark II is on its way, then blast away once they get close enough. They won't know what hit them. Okay, so this isn't going to be as overpowered as you may think, because despite the accurate and deadly looking beam that comes out, the effective range is very poor for one. And even when you equip armor piercing rounds, you won't really be dealing that much damage to any kind of vehicle, armored or non-armored. So you won't be taking out the likes of Kanjali's doing this. Another reason why this isn't so OP is because it can take a few tries, even for me, who's had quite a bit of practice getting the inputs frame perfect down, to get it every time, I'd have to say I have a 60% chance of doing it successfully. And even then, you gotta spend precious time wasting another 4 shots before you're ready to fire, so you're vulnerable for like, what, 10 seconds? You also can't sprint, you can't enter vehicles, and you can't climb anything while you're in a glitch state, otherwise a revolver will just revert back to its boring, one shot at a time behavior. Ugh, boring! That being said, there is a pretty fun way you can take advantage of this glitch and have quite a bit of fun. Simply grab a vehicle which has ragdolls disabled, like the ambulance, or in my case, the festival bus, and have someone drive you around while you dish out the pain. In style. That's pretty much all I have to say about this glitch. It's definitely a bottle of last when you get it to work and you manage to decimate some unlucky players with it, 
But as a game-breaking glitch which will render everything else useless, I deem that unlikely. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around, folks.